Hi all of you, I'm Shabir, Shabir from Edukemi. And my wishes to all those who are getting ready for the interview preparation. All those who have got a call for the interview for the IAS and IPS, IFS and all the examinations under the UPSC civil service examination. This is a great moment for all of you. This is that moment I think all of you have waited for, have dreamt about. Even I, I remember students talking about their experience with a lot of fondness when they look back after they have qualified. And there are students who have not qualified, but they have been to interviews and they know the value of sitting in that chair and facing the questions from the panelists. I call that as the hallowed ring where you are out there talking with some of the best brains of the country. People who have been shaping our policies, people who have been planning the development process of the country and you aspire to one of them as you qualify and as you move ahead in your civil services career. So very nice, very good that you all are preparing for that and I wish you all the best. One of the questions students ask me is how to prepare for these interviews. So rule number one, this is not an interview. This is not a viva voce. There's a difference. Where viva voce, the ones that we have faced examinations in our colleges or in our schools, they're more factual in nature. You asked a law, you asked some some concept you are asked to comment on maybe a graph or two that is typical viper voce interview is slightly a bit more a deeper one but when the upsc calls this as personality test there's a very distinct flavor to this particular process of the examination when they are saying is a test of personality they're testing your attitudes they're testing how you think they're testing your convictions they are testing whether you have the capability to think of innovative solutions. They are testing your integrity. They are testing your faith in the systems and some of the values that we stand for through our constitutions. The stage of preparation, what I want to emphasize on is, it is an attitude test. It is not simply about information. I am sure you have heard about this. They are testing how you think. They are testing your opinions. So if I talk about how you can prepare, you must keep in mind five things. One is your confidence should be very good. Whatever you speak, you must do that with a lot of conviction and confidence. You must have a substantial amount of information because whatever you say, if you cannot back that up with good facts, good data or good examples, then your confidence may be unfounded. And third thing, you need to have good insights. When I say insights, it's not about giving information, keeping quiet. It's about telling what you think about that particular issue. So you need to have confidence. You need to have information. You need to have insights. And then a very pleasant personality to talk to. So that's something around your emotional levels, how you manage yourself in examination. Your ability to express, your ability to talk and converse. So, so, five things are important for the interview. Your confidence level, which I think should be very, very high. Imagine six, seven, eight lakh students who give the examination. Perhaps 15, 20 lakhs who aspire for the examination and to qualify and become a part of bureaucracy. You are among the 2,500 to 3,000 students who have been called for the final round. It is a great opportunity. One of the toughest examinations of the world and out of these lakhs and lakhs of students, you have been chosen. And I'm sure you all know that this has not been an easy task. Now what happens is most of us miss out on the insights aspect. When you're preparing for the interview, you are not supposed to collate facts alone. You're not supposed to collate information alone or data alone. You have to think about what you want to say you must think about the issues around you. That is a mantra I'll give you. Whatever you read, whatever you come across, whatever issue you're preparing on, there are two things you should be preparing on. Number one is the issue, what you feel and think about it, which is in terms of, is it good? Is it bad? Is it horrendous? It's amusing? It is interesting? I think you are disinterested, you may be angry. So there's an element of feel, there's an element of 
what you are going through when you hear about an issue, a word, a place or whatever. And the second thing is why. If you can do these two things, you will be talking with insights. For example, you ask me about Russia and Ukraine war. The first thing is, what do I feel about it? I'm angry, I'm upset, I'm confused. I do not know how I should be preparing for. That's the feeling part. Why? Because this could go into a nuclear war. Because God knows where does Russian ambition stop. Because I do not know what can NATO do to retaliate. Because I do not know what kind of action China might come in with. Because I do not know what the spillover effect can be in terms of energies, uh, say cost, in terms of maybe import, export relationships. For every issue, there is a feel angle and there is an information angle. So the mantra that I want to repeat, pick up any issue, pick up any news, pick up any event, pick up anything that you think is of importance. And think about that in terms of, number one, how do you feel about it? What is your emotional involvement in terms of how do you react to it? You respond to it. And second, justify. You talk about farmers' protest. What do you feel? Justify. You talk about sea level rise. What do you feel? Justify. You talk about elections. What do you feel? Justify. You're talking about problems related to global conflicts. What do you feel? And justify. The feeling angle and the why angle. What happens is in the interview preparation, most of us are into what to do. What to do in terms of what books to read, what newspapers to read, what mock sessions to go after, okay, what type of practice. But nobody is thinking about preparing on how you feel about issues and how to justify that. So I want to differentiate these two aspects. So you open the newspaper, you open up the textbooks, you open up whatever you want to refer into. Anything that you have come across, these are the two things you will try to answer. What is your feeling? What is your opinion in terms of your, your emotional response? Good, bad, horrendous, I do not know, I am disinterested, I am okay with it, I am surprised about it, I am amused about it. The feel angle and justify why do you think so? If you can do this, invariably, you have an insight into the issue. If you can do this, invariably, your reading and your preparation will become deeper. So this is one of the videos in the series of how to prepare for the UPSC interview. Please keep watching. We'll share more videos on how to read, what to prepare, how to answer some important questions, what type of questions you should be prepared with, what to put on, how to get ready for the examination. And at Edukemi, we are going to launch a program where every week, two to three hours, we will engage with you live. We'll take up an issue and I will be there along with my able colleagues and the panelists who will discuss with you on the issues, debate on the issues so that you have an insight into how to go ready for the questions if they're asked to you in the panel in the UPSC Dholpur house. So be with me. We look forward to discussing a lot of interesting topics. We'll take up almost uh, 50 to 60 topics in a span of 30 odd days when you are getting ready for the examination. All the best and keep watching this YouTube space for more videos of this kind.